Hi, I'm Gwen Schoen with the Sacramento Bee. With the closing of salmon season this year, a lot of the commercial fishermen are having some problems trying to make ends meet and develop some new fishing techniques. And today, Brand Little of Little Fish Company in Northern California has invited us to join him as he spends a day in the San Francisco Bay fishing for halibut. My name is Brand Little. I'm the owner and captain of the fishing vessel Fair Seas out of San Francisco, California. Right now we're just outside of the city over on the Berkeley side of the bay fishing uh, hook and line for halibut. Well, with the salmon closures, you know, we're used to this time of the year we'd be out fishing salmon. Uh, the, deplete, the depleted stocks of the salmon have forced a lot of us into exploring other options, not necessarily to make money, uh, but just there's maintenance on these boats and storage on these boats and a lot of us are just trying to pay our slip fees and pay, pay for maintenance on the boats. These boats have to be hauled out every year and so there's not a lot. A lot of the fisheries off the coast of California are what we call limited entry, meaning you have to have a special permit for that fishery. There's only a few what we call open access fisheries, halibut being one of them. Uh, in the past it hasn't been targeted mostly due to the fact that numbers are low, uh, the methods used to catch them are it's traditionally a, a sport fishery, meaning guys going out for fun would go out and catch them. The commercial fleet, you're seeing more and more boats out here trying to make a buck, and these guys haven't really done it, so they're using sport methods to try and catch these fish. Instead of icing them, we put them in a live tank. All right, we're on our way back in. We spent uh, the morning out on San Francisco Bay. We're only able to get uh, one fish in the boat, probably about an eight-pound halibut, uh, which doesn't really even cover the cost of fuel or bait to be out here. So usually, you know, we'd like to get. Uh, at least two or three fish helps us pay for a three-day trip um, and then you know you get a few fish the next day and a few fish the day after that and you make a couple of bucks that helps go towards paying the storage on the boat and the maintenance on the boat but uh, sometimes you get them sometimes you don't today's a don't <laughs> oh yeah there's lots of guys that uh, aren't gonna make it um, you know this is all it's, it's, a dying, it's a dying industry in and of itself. Uh, most of these guys uh, are you know, older in their 60s and they've done this all their life. It's the only thing they know how to do. It's been getting harder and harder, but uh, you know, with recent closures, specifically the complete closure this year, uh, you know, I've talked to a lot of them and they don't know what they're gonna do. And they probably will lose their boats and their houses and uh, you know, everything else.